So, welcome to the Ransom's Ajax uh, Mark III uh, lawnmower rebuild. So we are now doing the grass box. Now, we have got as much of the old paint off as we can. I've gone in here and I've used some uh, rust remedy stuff in here. So you can't see any rust, but you can see how badly dented it is. Now, we are going to try and fill this a little bit. I've got a bit of rag just to get off the excess of the... Uh, the rust stuff that I've put on, and we're just we're not, not going to sand it because that will take the stuff off. But I just want it nice and clean and easy for it to stick to. Right, we'll put that to one side. Now we are going to use a car body filler here, and what this involves is that you have to use a golf ball size. Look at this. And that, that's what I call kind of over packaging. Um, now this needs to be a golf ball size piece of this to a um pea size piece of the hardener and then we stir it all up so i'm gonna that is not kind of um golf ball size i would have said i'm gonna put a bit more in here because i've got quite a bit to do now this is going to be a bit messy now i've just got this on a bit of cardboard and then i'm going to stir it into so a pea sized piece oh, smelly stuff so we've got some decent ventilation and i'm going to start Mixing this, the more you put in, the quicker it will mix and harden. This is a hard. I've got an old piece of clothes peg here, and I'm going to start mixing it in, mixing it in, mixing it in, mixing it in. I'm going to do this really quite quickly, and I so just do this on a little old cupboard. An even mix. You need to have really thorough mixing on this, so you don't want everything the same kind of colour, or what will happen is it won't set, and then you'll be getting the stuff off. There we go. That's not too bad. Right. Put that bit there. Right. Stand back, please, cameraman Sammy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill here. And I'm literally just filling in these dents. We'll go over this with a sander. Now, I am not doing 20,000, pounds of E type J. All I'm trying to do is take the very worst of these dents out. So we go over it with a sander. Um, let's get some more of this on here. Oops. Now I don't want to do every single little piece here. I'll get every single dent out because I want it to look like the mower has had a little bit of a, a little bit of a life. But you can see that this is getting the worst of those dents out and I know it's lumpy on here don't even worry about that because once we get our sander on here it will take the kind of excess off now before I did all this I did kind of go over this with a kind of lump of wood and a hammer just to try and not some of the dents out. Let me see if I can get this on here. I want you to see me filling one of those. You see the dent there? The front of the grass box, this is where we want it to be at its very best. We want this to be quite nice and even because we're going to have one of those lovely little decal stickers to go over it. Let's try and get, we'll have a little bit of a I don't want to be too yeah, in here. I can you can see there where that isn't quite even. You can see this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of filler in here, just in that corner, just to fill it a little bit there. Sorry, can you move your camera back a little bit, please, cameraman Sammy? So the the, the worst of this will, will come off anyway. That is getting quite hard now. Now somewhere in here, I saw a bit of daylight earlier. So I am going to go just on the inside of that. Try and get a little bit of filler just in there. Because I don't want to be seeing daylight for it because daylight means there is stuff getting in for us so that will, I'll take the worst of it off with a bit of sandpaper and I think we're going to need a little bit 
more of this um, in there. So it's not, not a big deal at all. Right. Of course, I shouldn't have laid that down, should I? That was a only a silly person would do that. So now... I'm going to leave that to dry and then we're going to put the sander on it and get the worst of it off. So that's about it for now. And don't forget to make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated area when you are doing tasks such as this. I'll see you soon.